first gold, what's your feeling? Oh, it's just unbelievable. Um, absolutely delighted. Uh, I've been trying so long <laughs> to get on the podium and I've been fourth at the European Indoors twice in the 1500. So to actually get on the podium, which was my first uh, aim, but and get a gold medal, it's just an unbelievable dream come true, especially as I'm uh, a bit older than some of the other girls in the field. So it's just, uh, just made me think it's sort of been so worth keeping going and keeping to try to, to be good at what I do. So it's, it's just brilliant for, for me and everybody who supported me, really. Because you are 37, 37 years old, you are the second oldest woman in the field that ever won a gold medal. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know, I keep getting reminded about my age all the time recently, but just shows, it's just the number um, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, because winning gold on the age of 37, so many years you have been going on for to get this one. There's been a lot of hard work over the years to, you know, to get to this point, and I've been close so many times, and I'm just so glad that I've I've kept believing in myself and just kept going and kept trying, and especially on the low times when I've thought, you know, a lot of my fr uh, compatriots have given up and gone and had babies and things, and I've just thought, is it worth it? But this is worth it, definitely. What did you put in your mind for to go coming to the starting line today? You you knew the field, you knew uh, it is 15 laps. What was in your mind? I think I'd gone through every possible scenario in my mind. Um, all the girls in the race are actually, you know, it's a very good field. And although I had run the fastest time going into the race, you know, there's a lot of girls who've run faster than me outdoors and they've medalled at champs before. So, you know, I totally respected everyone in the race. Uh, yeah, I just, just hope that it would work out for me, really, and that my... I, I did a 1500 the other week, which made me believe I had a bit of speed in my legs. Um, so, thank goodness that paid off at the end with a dip over the line. <laughs> Wait, in the preparation now, in the, in the winter, was this championship a major focus for you? Um, yeah, I've been to Kenya... Two, two times over the last three months and this this was something I've been looking to but also being sort of putting my focus on the summer and looking to move up to 5k maybe and 10k so I think the training's really suited me and obviously this is just this is just brilliant for me because like I say it's been a long time coming really. <laughs> Have you been before in Kenya training? This is the first time this year so I went in November and I went in January uh, to Lona Kiplagat's camp um, and it just, uh, just went very well for me. It's the first time I've been so high and I just think I've had very good benefits from it so uh, I'll definitely want to go back there again. <laughs>